hey guys and welcome back to my channel i am quickly going to jump into this tutorial i am starting on freshly washed hair um, we'll be using two products throughout this video and the first one is the hydrating curl cream by cream of nature and my fave aussie instant freeze gel both of these products were just laying around my house so just find two products that you really love the way that they make your natural curls look and go with that um in this clip i'm going to show you pretty much how i apply the product throughout the entire video there is no method to this madness the only thing that i do is make sure i go in medium sections i apply that curl cream and then i go in with the gel right after i finger detangle pretty much well my hair is pretty much detangled so i finger comb throughout the entire video and i pretty much do this entire style just using my fingers um no need to show you the entire process because it's literally repetitive adding the cream adding the gel combing it through with my fingers and so on so forth so do this and we're going to get right into the styling part i am going to show you um in this next clip about midway through how my hair is turning out and yeah so right here you'll see my hair is halfway through and these products are really defining my curls um they look really nice super juicy and it's just giving me all the life I need. And let's get into the styling. So this is my hair fully covered in those two products. Um, I just made sure it was really well covered. And I am going to now begin to section off the front part of my head so that I can have bangs in the front. My hair is slightly uneven just because I cut it so much throughout my transitioning process. So a lot of times whenever I do a style with bangs or anything that's hanging down directly in the front of my face, I kind of have to finesse. And so you'll see when I actually start to style my bangs, um, how I part my hair in an angle so that it can look even. But for now, I'm just going to um, part my hair part the front part of my hair into a triangle and then get my bangs out of my way so that I can go into the styling of my edges. So I immediately go in and add some water to my edges and then I'm going to take my edge toothbrush and I'm going to add some of that Aussie gel to it. And I'm simply going to style my edges to get a base. We are going to touch up our edges again later toward the end of the video, but for now we just wanna create a base before we start to create our bun. We are then going to grab a bristle brush that's about soft to medium. Uh, mine is not super hard, but it's not super soft. And we're just going to make the base of our bun super smooth. I'm gonna also take another edge toothbrush and just go over that to make sure it's as smooth as possible. Then I'm going to grab my ponytail holder and create the base of our bun. I like to keep mine more so toward the front just because I think it looks cuter versus it being more toward the back. Um, as you can see, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Oh yeah, have some bobby pins on hand so that you're not running around looking for them when it comes time to create your bun. But I'm going to wrap a part, part of my bun around the ponytail holder. It's not super tight. There's no pulling, there's no tugging. You just want to wrap it to create the base for the rest of your bun. Um, you're going to bobby pin that down and then you're going to take your brush and you're going to kind of tease the rest of your hair. Don't mess up your curls. Don't do it too much. Just do it enough to where it's a little bit messy but still cute. And then you're going to wrap that around. No order. You're going to mess with this bun throughout the entire you know, styling process until it is to your liking. You'll see me do it throughout the video. I'm going to add more bobby pins and I'm just going to mess around with it um, to get it the way that I like. The nature of this style is to have a small bun. So if you want a bigger bun, I guess you can experiment with that. But I like the smaller bun. I think it looks really cute and it goes really well with the style. Um, you'll see me add a few more bobby pins, um, get everything together. And then I am going to move on to styling the rest of my hair. We're going to get back into these bangs. Now, you can keep your bangs like this. Y'all will see this is what I mean like I'm trying to figure out how to keep my bangs even so I actually part mine on an angle if your hair is super even in the front then you can just part yours straight down the middle but that tends to work for me parting it on an angle I'm going to take the rest of my hair out of that clip so that it can start drying one thing that you will see me do um, is that I'll add water to any part of my hair that frizzes just to keep the frizz down um, add gel as well if necessary Now we are just going to go in and finish up our bangs. Feel free to wear yours down. I tend to like to wear mine in twists. So as you can see, I just added a little bit more of that Aussie gel. 
um, after I sprayed some water and then I'm going to go in and make sure my twists are even just because they tend to lay a bit, little bit neater. One good thing about wearing them with the twist is if you are somebody who likes to add the um, like accessories, the gold beads or anything like that, then this is a great way to spice up your hair a little bit and it comes out super cute as well. I like to wear my plain so I'm not going to add any accessories but that is always an option for this style. And then lastly I am just going to go in and touch up my edges. Um, I just take a little bit more of that Ollie gel and I just make sure they are laying as neat as possible. My hair curls up really a lot so I usually have to go back in and lay my edges again after I'm done styling my hair. And so yeah, this came out super cute. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.